So today we are going to go pick up my wheels from Nolan over at Advanced Powder Coating Solution. I've seen some pictures, they look good in the picture so far. So as soon as I got word that the wheels were ready, this is the <laughs> this is what I was driving. So I was just like, I'm shooting straight down there to go pick up the wheels. So I hope they fit. Oh no, <laughs> it's a little Fiat 500. I think it'll work. I, I think we got, we got this, we got this. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh. Will my wheels fit in the Fiat? Oh, so I will check back in with you guys once we get over to Nolan's shop. See if they're gonna fit. <laughs> so we got them all loaded up. Yeah. So it's gonna be a fun ride home. But they all fit. There you go. So it's gonna be a little cramped in here, so I'm just gonna say we'll just check in once we get home. So it is actually currently uh, the next day. I picked the wheels up yesterday, you guys saw that. So they've, they're already unloaded, they're here in the garage. I'm about to reveal them to you, they're sitting over here. So let's just take a walk underneath the car because the wheels are actually over here. And I am about to show you guys the wheels. So I'm about to reveal the wheels to you guys, but I want you guys to comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Should I have left them the way they were? Or did I make a good move by getting them powder coated? Let me know what you think. There was one more thing I needed to do to the wheels to make them official. You know what, I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting. Here, here, here you go, here you go. There they are. That's the wheels. What do you guys think? That's what I wanna know. That's the ultimate question. What do you guys think of the wheels? Was it smart to powder coat them? Or should I have left them? I don't know. I'm still, I haven't seen them on the car yet. See with the weld wheels, I love the way they come, but there's so many people out there with the Mustangs, the Supras. I mean, cause you see a lot of Supra guys running these same wheels and a lot of GT500 guys are running these wheels. Actually a lot of Mustang guys in general that have these exact same wheels on their car and there's a few other black ones out there. And sometimes I scroll through Instagram and I will see my wheels or the same wheels that I have on other cars that are black and I've scrolled through, I was like, hey, somebody posted a picture of my car. Oh, oh, that's not my car. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. So that's why I did this. So before we continue and get these things mounted on the car, I have to make these wheels official and give a shout out to Weld for uh, hooking me up with these stickers. I'm gonna show you guys here what they gave me. So this is what Weld hooked me up with. So these stickers are kind of like what Weld puts on their wheels. They're like little signature. You usually always see them like in the lip of the wheel, like up in there. So I'm going to basically recreate that, put them back on the wheels. When they did the powder coating on my wheels, they basically had to remove the stickers. It's, a, it's like a little hologram sticker. It says, it's got weld.com, weld, engineering, performance, and made in the USA. So I am going to get these on the wheels. So I know somebody's gonna comment in the comment section and ask the size, the wheel setup, the tire setup. So I'm gonna give that to you right now. The fronts are 17 by four and a half inch, and the tires on there are Mickey Thompson Sportsman's SRs, and they're a 26 by six. Now the rears are a 15 by 10, and the tire is a Mickey Thompson ET Street SS, and the tire size is a 275-6015. There you go. So let me get these stickers installed. We go so I guess that makes the wheels official so they've all got their little weld logo sticker this little hologram sticker and I actually think that makes the wheels even look better so there you go once you got the center cap in there and you got the official weld sticker on the wheel they look good they look good so now let's see them on the car Dude. 
So the wheels are on the car. So this is gonna be the moment of truth. I'm about to pull her out of the garage, see how they look, but look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this thing is literally covered in dust. And dead battery. So the car wouldn't start. That's a fail. So I'm gonna try to roll it out and then uh, jump it with one of my other cars. So that's what I'm gonna do, just roll her out. Do, 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 do. Moment of truth. So let's see if she starts. Gosh, keys. I think I left them in the car. I think I left them in the car. Got them. Moment of truth. Please start. Please start. Please start. There we go. So I'm going to leave you guys right here for a little bit while I unhook the jumper cables. So before I actually take pictures, I figured I should at least blow the dust off of them. So that's what, that's what we're going to do. Not getting that right. No, one last. Video.